Just yesterday, Guam Public School System Superintendent Dr. Narissa Britannia Schaefer announced to lawmakers that the opening date for the three new schools may be delayed by two weeks. Although most of the work is completed at Liguan Elementary School, it's still a matter of filling the facility with the requested collateral equipment. Ukudu High Principal Ken Danusta says aside from the lack of equipment at his school, he needs more personnel. As of today, I, I don't have my school aides on board. I am still short uh, quite a few teachers, uh, and I need those in place in order uh, to open up schools smoothly so that students uh, have someone in the classroom. We have school aides in the hallways to monitor and supervise students. Last week, the school was fortunate to receive supplies from John F. Kennedy High School with the assistance of the National Guard though Danusta admits a lot more needs to be done for classes to begin. They helped us get uh, most of our classrooms set up. We're still lacking a few uh, equipment, uh, but uh, that's going to be transferred over soon, sometime this week, so we can have all the classrooms outfitted. Danusta adds the new equipment should arrive the first week of October, but the delay is also attributed to the department not receiving the keys for the building. This is the last school that um, of the three that um, we still have some issues with our water pressure and the sewer leak test. Unless those two items are resolved, then um, we can allow students and staff to occupy this building. Meantime, Danusa says it's the same issue at a Stumbo Middle School, adding the principal of Liguan Elementary claims to be ready for opening day. So if you're still one of those parents or students wondering if the new Northern schools will be ready come August 12th, only time will tell after tonight's Guam Education Policy Board meeting with the superintendent and board members. Nick Delgado, Pacific News Center.